What is up guys, Bro Chris here. Guys, I got you with a crazy edible story. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you add a like, subscribe if you're new, add a comment if you want, and please share the video, you know. We're almost there to 200 subs. I can't do this without y'all. So let's do this. And also, look at the cap. Pushing P, positivity. If it ain't positive, I ain't with it. So, yeah. So, here it goes. So this happened, I would say, two years ago. It was me and my friend Noah. He was at my place, and he showed me an edible, like, this long, right? Nerd. Candy, right? And he was, I was like, sure. So I took a little piece, right? I don't know if I took it when I was at the house, or I took it on the way out because we went out to go to Guapos. He was telling me, yo, bro, do you want to go out and let's go get some food? I was like, all right, bet. And we were heading to Guapos, right? Walking and all that. We get to the parking lot of the community center, so which is 10 minutes away, right? And I asked him, and I already took that. And I asked him, hey, man, how long is this going to take? He says, uh, give it like 30 to an hour, bro. It'll be good. I was like, all right. So, as when I told him that five minutes later, man, it felt like I couldn't walk straight, man. I had to drag my feet, man. I wasn't talking straight. Like, my talking was like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, bro, yeah. You know, all of that stuff. And this is the most weirdest shit that I felt, too. I ain't gonna lie. It felt like something was going in my ass. And there was times I had to turn around to make sure, you know, nobody was behind me. Man, I never did it ever again. That was some, that was some, pretty much, as we're walking, right, we passed the, we get close to the, the Seb. And we passed the Seb, right, and we're like 10 minutes away from Grapples. And it's like, it's like everything, it's like I go into third person. I can see myself walking, passing the sub. And it's like, we're, it's like we never left, man. It's like, we're still there at the sub. And it's like, every time we're walking, we're going backwards. And it's just that man. And he already took his, so he hasn't felt it yet. But once we got to Grapples and he asked me, yo, do you want anything to eat? I was like, so I'm like, you know, fucked up. I'm looking at the menu and I'm like, you know, I'm just like, I'm just fucked up. So I tell him, bro, I'm not going to order anything because if I do, it's going to take a long, long time. So he was like, all right, bet. So, you know, I stand against the wall. I'm standing against the wall like this, right? And he already ordered his food. And he tells me, bro, I feel the man is kicking in. And you know, like, and I'm like this too. Like, I'm just like, yo, yo, this is some crazy shit, bro. And I wanted to sit down on the floor and wait, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to sit on the floor. People were probably going to be like, what the fuck is that dude sitting on the fucking floor? So trying to like remember it's like we it's like once he ordered his food and then it started kicking in for him man it's like we've been there for so long and he's fucked up and then he finally gets his food and we leave right and i remember i think he's like ahead of me or right next to me and i see a guy in the car and he, we make eye contact, and I'm just like, you know, like laughing, and I'm just like, to him like that, right? And he looks at me like, 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 damn, that dude is on something or whatever. My mom calls me, and she's like, yo, I'm at home now. Where you at? And I'm like, oh, I'm with Noah, but I'll be home in like 15 minutes. She's like, oh, okay. I tell Noah, yo, bro, my mom's home, bro, so we're going to have to try to be... We're going to have to try to be, you know, serious. Like, we cannot be, like, laughing or anything, bro. And, you know, as I'm telling him this and all that, he's like, okay, okay. And I keep talking about this on the way home. And he's like, bro, you ain't no fun, man. You ain't no fun. 
<laughs> and I remember we went past the Seb again and he was like, um, he was like, I was ahead of him, but he started running, um, to me cause there was a cop car and he was like, bro, is that a cop? I'm just like, yeah, but just be cool. You know? And he was like, okay. So, you know, we get to my house, right? We go straight to my room. Um, my mom, I think she was in the backyard. My mom comes in the house and she comes to my room. She sees me and Noah. Noah's sitting down. I'm on the bed and I'm trying, I'm pretending like I'm playing the game and I'm trying to be serious too. So I'm like, as my mom's talking to me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know? And Noah is like laughing and I'm just like, bro. And you know, like my mom like is laughing with Noah. And, and once she started laughing, then Noah started laughing. Every time my mom would laugh, he would laugh. And I'm just like, man, this is crazy. Like, man, what for, I'm gonna get caught, man. Yo, bro, do you want a, another piece? And I was like, you know what, I'll take it, right? He gave me a piece like this. And he left, you know, he went home. That same, no. Let me see. It was the next day. Eric hits me up and says, yo, you want to hang? And, you know, me and Eric, like, but that's my dog. But, like, we so cool like that, man. Like, I got his back. Eric, if you're watching this, bro, I love you, bro. Bitch, you better be watching, bro, my videos, dog. Yeah, you know, he's a cool dude. So, I remember he hit me up and said, yo, you want to hang out? I'm like, sure. So, we hang out. We either hanged out, like, in the afternoon or in, in the evening. Because I remember we got back to my place, and it was dark. And I think it was, like, 10 o'clock. I tell him, bro, oh, his phone died, too. He had an iPhone. He has an iPhone. I didn't have an iPhone at the time. I had an Android, like, HTC. You guys already know. Fossil. Fossil. So I tell him, bro, you want to hang at my place and all that for a little bit before you go home? He's like, yeah, sure. Because his house was, like, two blocks two blocks away so we're hanging out in my room and first he's sitting down in the chair but then i tell him bro you can lay on the bed if you want you know if you want to rest for a little bit he lays down but i have the edible and i tell him bro do you want a piece of this edible he's like yeah man give it to me so you know i give him the piece right i have the other piece he ate his and then knocked out and I ate mine and I felt, you know, little of the effects, right? But I wasn't feeling that shit that was something was going through my ass. Like, I didn't feel that no more. I was like, man, man, I, I'm telling you, when that, when I felt, first felt that, I, had, I just had to make sure that nobody was behind me, you feel me? I had to look around, like, a few, couple times, you feel me? So, I took it. I'm playing the game. I feel the the effects a little bit. Then it goes away. Oh, before I go to sleep, my mom came in and she sees Eric laying down and he's knocked out. And she's like, Eric, Eric. And she's calling his name. Man, my mom's like, he's not waking up. And I turn around, I'm like, yo, Eric, Eric, he's not waking up. This dude is knocked the fuck out. Once we um kept calling his name over and over again, he started making like, mm, mm. so like, you know, he's a, he, you know, he's not, he's just tired, but he can hear us. So my mom tells him, take off your shoes and all that. So he can lay down my mom, you know, put a blanket over him and all that. And, you know, my mom leaves and I think I'm still playing the game. And then that's when I start getting tired and I go to sleep. That edible that I gave Eric did not kick in when he knocked out it kicked in the next day so the next day he had work and his dad um i also forgot to mention this i told him since his phone is dead give me your dad's number so i could text him tell him hey your son is gonna be sleeping over at my place this is chris call me or text me when you're in the front so i could tell him and he could be ready his dad hits me up and said hey i'm in the front i wake up eric i said yo bro your dad's here you know, he puts his shoes on and all that. He leaves. He gets to work. That's when it started kicking in. He was telling me that his co-workers were laughing with him. He was laughing. But his main boss was looking at him like this. Like, 
staring down at him. And Eric, you know, he's working or whatever. And he got his, um, um, I don't know if he has sunglasses on or whatever. He's like this. Trying to have a serious um, face with him, you know. And he's not trying to laugh or nothing. He's just working. And his boss is looking at him. He's just like, you know. It's, it's just, man. And he did tell me. He felt something going in his ass. And he had to turn around and make sure nobody was behind him and all that. But I told him, bro, ever since that shit happened, I'm never doing that shit again. He told me the same thing. Yeah, bro, I'm never doing that shit again. That's the story. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you add a like. Share the video, please. Let's try to hit 200. I can't do it without y'all. Always try to stay positive. You already know. I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me since, you know, day one. I never took YouTube serious back then when I was in high school. But after high school, that's when I, you know, well, I think it was like my senior year. That's when I started, you know, getting serious with the YouTube. I can't do this without y'all. So let's do this. We got to keep going up. You feel me? Can never give up. Always try to stay positive, you know, on that good path. You feel me? And... Yeah, I love you guys and you guys have a good night. Peace.